Hey what is up guys, TV here and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, please don't forget to click on that red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you will get notified with my new uploaded videos on this channel. And before we start, let's roll that intro. <laughs> All right, so we are back. So some of my friends who are also Huawei device users are asking me if there's gonna be a difference um, with you know watching Netflix on their phones and uh, what do, do they need to know? How? Uh, well, basically, how to know if the device is capable of doing so? All right. So the answer for that is actually it depends. All right, so there are a list of devices that are supported to view high definition uh, movies from the Netflix app. And here on their official site, we definitely have a list of that. So there's um, a list of different manufacturers here, but we are now dealing with Huawei. So we will be discussing with regard to Huawei devices only. So as you can see here, these are the devices that should be allowed to view you know HD movies like natively on a device now how do we check that um, there is a indication uh, which Netflix requires so it should show an L1 under playback specification if you click on your uh, Netflix app so you go to your app settings here and click under playback specification so as you can see here with the uh, digital rights management our device which is the mate 30 pro that i'm using right now is under l3 under wide line um indication there so that means this this does not met the requirement because it should be l1 and therefore the, the maximum playback resolution that can be done here is only for standard definition. Of course, before you could stream HD movies, you also gonna need to have a subscription from Netflix that allows to do so, right? That's one of the things that you need to make sure. And secondly is gonna be your device. Now, this only would allow me standard definition. Now, what else can I do or can you do so you could also view high definition movies on your rent? So again, there are many factors that would also you know uh, affect your viewing experience with that even though you have a supported device and that would include your internet speed, right? So if you have uh, um, a premium subscription, you have a uh, eligible device but you are you know internet connection right now is laggy or something like that so that would also still um, affect your uh, viewing experience because it will try to adjust the resolution uh, for that video or that movie that you're watching to make sure that you will have a smooth um, movie viewing on your end so that's just one all right but in this specific scenario since we are Huawei users and assuming that you're not one of those who owned devices that's under the list here then there is a trick that you can do so how do we do that well we can definitely use gspace so whether you use the official one or with the mod that i made here for you that's totally up to you so you just need to install this one and I'll show you how so let me install first these things so I'll also show you see the the whole step on setting up the G space so you will also have a uh, shortcut for your Play Store so I'm gonna install this shortcut maker app and done so um 
let me see where is my shortcut maker app here was it there or there okay so the very first thing you need to do before opening G space so you know everything will be done completely here is to open this um, shortcut maker app and then go to history just never mind what I have here I'll just remove this ones um, so you won't get confused so assuming that it's your first time so just click on the three dots menu on the upper right hand go to restore and then look for the folder that we got uh, under the downloads let me just move this little screen here let me go to downloads I have my gspace folder here and then click on the play store .smf. click on the play store item there and then now don't create a shortcut yet because we actually will be making a shortcut without the uh, watermark here so you just click on that you know to make sure that it will appear on your history so when we go back and uh, open a folder here I know the app rather and you go to history then you will have the Play Store option here so that's the uh, the purpose of what we just did a while ago now to do a shortcut without the watermark so go to your widgets option here and look for uh, shortcut maker there you go now press and hold it and drag into any uh, space that you can put the shortcut supposedly and then here go to history open play store and then click first on shortcut fix you can change the icon if you would like to but you know that's totally up to you as well now click on short uh, create shortcut and you will have the shortcut for your play store here so you'll be ready to click on it and just allow everything from here Right, continue. So this is also one of the uh, important parts of this process. Right after um, we click on sign in button for Play Store later on. So I'm gonna open Play Store again. So when you click sign in, just make sure to check the the pop-up that you will see what kind of virtual space device it will give you now this one is giving me a Nova 4e which is not on the list so I'm just gonna close this out and then what you can do in your end is to go to settings apps look for gspace and just clear the cache and data after that open gspace again the same thing just set it up for the first time start continue and we'll wait for that to complete at a hundred percent and let's open Play Store now let's see what it will give us this time Hopefully it will give us now at least, you know, Mate 30, P30, or let's see, it's still Nova 4E, so I'm gonna try to clear the data again. Alright, let's do this again, let's try. Another thing you can do is also to try uninstall and reinstalling it. So it's up to you. Uh, you can do any of those variations until you get the uh, virtual device that we need for this trick here. So I'm going to open Play Store again. And let's see. Hopefully, it will now give us a different device. Honor X, no. So let's try this again. 
Hold on one second. Okay, cleared. So this is actually, uh, or since it's randomly uh, created automatically by the uh, GSpace uh, environment, so there's really no way for us to uh, pick uh, which virtual device it will, it will uh, give us. So we just have to do this process again and again. But it's going to be different results from um, you know each of our ends. So. Maybe you'll get the right device the first time, then that would be good. So, we'll see. But the idea here is the same. You just need to, you know, uh, wait for the uh, the right device that we could get. P30, there you go. I got the P30 here. Now, let me log into one of my accounts here. Right. And I'll show you as well how to install Netflix because sometimes uh, Netflix will not be um, on your list to install from um, Google Play. So hopefully this one has, but let's see. So there's none. So if you don't have Netflix on your list here to install within the GSpace environment, guys, first thing you need to do is to install SAI. If you have Netflix, you don't need to do this, okay? Just install Netflix right away. But in this case, if you're exp experiencing the same, just install this one, split APK's installer. And again, this is within the GSpace environment, all right? So again, once installed, just keep that for the meantime, go out, Go to your device itself and open um, your browser from your device natively. So this is outside GSpace already, okay? And now search for Netflix APK Mirror there. And then go to this site here and look for the latest version. Um, this one, I'll just choose this version here. And look for an APK so there's an APK here I'm gonna download this one this is universal anyway so let me download this and here look at this uh, look for this button to click on and it should start the download in a few seconds and there now let's just wait for the download to complete all right it's now completed so once completed go back inside cheese space and open the sai app now click on install apks internal file picker and go to your download folder here and look for the cheese space we just downloaded which in case i've downloaded and download, downloaded this a while ago by the way so you, you will see to here but in your case just look for it for the Netflix APK file and then select install and just wait for it all right now it is installed and let's go back here let's just make a shortcut so you won't need to go back inside there to launch Netflix. Okay, so we have Netflix here already. And let me just log in so I can show you what it will uh, say under the uh, device playback specification later. So give me just a moment to log in here. All right, it's logging in now. And 
here we go let's check here under app settings uh, device playback specification all right so as you can see guys the uh, DRM wide vine here indicates L1 and now the maximum playback resolution is full HD all right now let's go back from the Netflix app outside of that choose place environment so we could do the uh, comparison side by side so here again we have L3 and it only have or allows uh, standard definition for its maximum playback resolution okay now the question here is that is there gonna be a big difference really so my direct answer to that guys is that it really depends as well because on my end like you know if I'm used to what I'm uh, looking at using the Netflix outside of G-Space with just standard um, definition so you won't really uh, feel um, the, the difference right away okay but that depends okay because if you are a person who are used to um, or keen with um, looking at the, the pixels and all that then you will feel the difference right away and again um, if you have a, a premium premium subscription and it's supposed to be you know letting you enjoy high definition movies then why would you settle with just you know getting the the standard definition out of it right so then it's it's gonna be uh, at the end of the day it's it's gonna be your decision as well if you would uh, do this track so you will enjoy um, viewing high definition movies on your Netflix um, subscription from your subscription on your Huawei device even though your device is not supported uh, to view the high definition movies from it so there you go guys this is definitely one thing that you can do um, on your end so you will be enjoying high definition movies from Netflix on your unsupported supposedly unsupported Huawei devices so hopefully this video has helped you and if it did click on the like button don't forget to share this video as well and again if you're new here please don't forget to click on that red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you will get notified with my uploads for new videos here on my channel and as always guys thank you very much for watching see you on my next one peace